Hey guys, Toast here. Today we're going to review and discuss the Gewehr 98, a bolt-action rifle available for 200 warbonds per variant for the Scout class in Battlefield 1. We'll discuss the stats of each of the different variants, attachments, the situations in which the weapon excels, and some tips when playing with this particular weapon. Normally I wouldn't do these guides as close together, however with the release of They Shall Not Pass, I wanted to finish the current round of reviews so that I can start to dig into the DLC weapon shortly. The Gewehr 98 comes in three different variants, Infantry, Marksman, and Sniper. All three variants have a maximum damage of 100 and a minimum damage of 80. This is pretty much the standard damage model among the traditional long-range weapons available to the Scout class. All variants have the traditional Scout rifle damage model dealing minimum damage up to 60 meters, raising to the maximum damage at 80 meters, and then starting to drop back off to the minimum damage around 125 meters. Because of this, all variants are a one-shot body shot kill between 80 and 125 meters, and one-shot headshot kills at all ranges. Keep in mind that limbs and lower torso both have a lower damage multiplier, so the location of your shot really counts in order to ensure you get the full 100 damage at the maximum damage range. All variants have a muscle velocity of 880 meters per second, making it the highest velocity rifle available to the class, and a rate of fire of 50 rounds per minute solidifying it as the lowest rate of fire rifle for the class outside of the Martini Henry. All variants have 5 rounds available prior to needing to reload, and are reloaded with individual rounds up to 4 missing, taking 0.5 seconds to reload each bullet, and a 5 round strip clip when fully empty taking 1.5 seconds to reload. This also makes it the fastest reloading scout rifle for both individual rounds, albeit not by much, and for a fully empty reload though again not by much. The only one of the three variants that has any deviation in the base stats from the others is the infantry variant, which only deviates in two small aspects. The first is that the infantry variant has slightly better recoil decrease than the other two variants, meaning that the weapon's sights return to neutral position faster between each shot. The second thing is that the infantry variant has notably higher spread decrease, which means that your shots will be more accurate more quickly for each follow-up than the other two variants. This makes sense since you're more likely to need to take quick follow-up shots at close range targets with the infantry variant than at longer range targets with the other two. The only other difference between the variants comes down to the sights. The attachments for the Gewehr 98 don't differ much from what we've seen from similar variants of other scout rifles. The sniper variant is going to offer a long range scope, you have the option of 4 reticles, cross, chevron, beam, and post, the variant has magnifications from 5x up to 10x, and you also have the option of adding a bayonet to the end of the barrel for melee kills. The marksman variant is going to offer a mid range scope, you have the option of the same 4 reticles, cross, chevron, beam, and post. The variant has magnifications of 2.5x up to 4x, and you also have the option of adding the bayonet. The infantry variant is the only one with iron sights. You have the option of two types of sights, both standard and radium. The magnification of this variant ranges from 1x up to 2x, and just like the other two, you have the option of adding the bayonet. Ultimately, each variant of this particular scout rifle boils down to how aggressively or how passively you'd like to play the class. The infantry variant is going to offer the lowest magnification and iron sights only, which means that you may have difficulty lining up long range shots, and will need to be a little more aggressive going for headshots or targeting injured players in closer or medium range. The marksman variant gives you the opportunity to have more space between you and your target with the higher magnification than the infantry variant, and the ability to better tune your reticle for your preference. The Sniper variant is of course going to offer you the most space between you and your target while still maintaining accuracy due to the high magnification scope, making those very long range shots more realistic. That said, you'll be less capable in close range and you may have difficulty tracking targets at medium range if you use too strong of a magnification. The Gewehr 98 really gives you options as to how you wish to play the Scout class from a distance perspective. With the three distinctly different ranges for sights, you have the freedom to really decide how far from your target is going to be ideal for you. If you like the idea of getting in close and playing the objective hard, you can be aggressive with the infantry variant. Should you wish to stay back and help your team from afar, the sniper variant may be the better option. Something in the middle? Well then you have the marksman variant. The damage model for the Gewehr 98 doesn't really lend itself to being a strong close or mid-range weapon, which can make the infantry variant a bit difficult to use at times. 
unlike other scout weapons like the SMLE, the Martini Henry, or the Russian 1895, which all hit their maximum damage at 60 meters or closer, the Gewehr 98 doesn't hit its maximum damage until 80 meters out, which means that the close and mid-range targets are going to require that you either hit a headshot, target an already injured enemy, or be ready to swap to your sidearm quickly to finish the job. Remember, it has the second lowest rate of fire, which means that getting a second shot off to finish the job may not be an option. The Gewehr 98, in my humble opinion, has one of the most favorable sweet spots for long-range shooting. The 80 to 125 meter damage range, paired with the sniper variant's higher magnification, makes long-range shooting both lethal and enjoyable. For those extremely long-range engagements, the M1903 is a little bit better suited with its even further sweet spot, however for the majority of long-range engagements on the majority of maps in Battlefield 1, the Gewehr 98 is going to give you a powerhouse to work with. The class-leading muzzle velocity for the weapon means that you have to lead your shots less and compensate less for bullet drop than with other scout weapons. Now I've been guilty at times of shooting just over a target's head or just a bit too far in front of them. You won't need to compensate quite as much with this weapon as you do with others, so take that into consideration when you're lining up that perfect one-shot kill. Now I want to know how you feel about using the Gewehr 98. Do you like the weapon and feel it's viable? Or do you feel that there are other weapons that may be a better choice for the scout class? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, this is Toast, and I'll talk to you soon.